I think it's a knee-jerk reaction, but you know, sometimes your knee-jerk reactions aren't always the best reaction. A Mooresville High School parent is upset at a policy to crack down on vaping in the school's restroom. Yeah, during class time, the school closed all but two bathrooms for students. One was in the nurse's office, and the other was near the center of the building. Working for URTV6's Derek Thomas shows us how those changes created other problems and what Mooresville High School is now doing. The changes did not go smoothly. There were some unintended consequences. I talked to some parents about what occurred. They only have one bathroom open in the middle of the school. They have the nurse's office open, but teachers are telling kids that they cannot go to the bathroom. That's wrong. I know there was an instance yesterday where a girl was told that she could not go to the bathroom and she ended up bleeding through her pants. That's unacceptable. I feel sorry for that girl. It should never have happened. The reason for these changes was because of vaping in those restrooms. In an email to parents, the school district highlighted the negative impact of vaping. Craig Haggard has two children who attend the school, sophomore Elena and freshman Aiden. He appreciates the hazards of vaping but rejects the method of combating it inside of school. They can't control some kids vaping and uh, or some of the other issues there are at school. And so there's a lot of knee-jerk reaction that just punishes everybody. And uh, not only do I think that's not a good idea for the kids, I think it's a bad lesson for the kids to punish an entire group of folks for a few bad apples. Apparently enough parents felt that way. And at 941 this morning, Principal Brian Disney sent this email that said, we were updating procedures to return to normal restroom availability throughout the school day, along with yesterday's plan, which included increased supervision and the district re-emphasized the punishment for vaping a one-day suspension for the first offense three-day suspension for the second offense and a probationary agreement and for the third offense students will be placed in an alternative school don't vape unless you want your good standing in school to go up in smoke Derek Thomas RTV6.